In his 1970 classic Future Shock, futurist Alvin Toffler discusses the importance of being able to unlearn and relearn in fast-paced, complex settings. He likens this ability to being literate. But in a constantly evolving social and technological world, the irreversibility of lessons from experience can render us, in that sense, illiterate. How did you learn to ride a bicycle? We cannot just learn to ride by reading, watching, or listening to others telling us about it. There's only one way, from experience. And once we can ride, we don't easily forget. It stays with us for a long time. Of course, this is true for many other motor skills like driving, typing, skiing, or even performing surgery. That's great! What we learn from experience becomes efficient and durable. But it also creates a disadvantage. What if the situation or circumstances change? and the skills and knowledge we gain through experience become obsolete. Then we can get stuck and find it quite hard to adapt. Have you ever tried to unlearn how to ride a bicycle? It's not easy at all. Luckily, somebody did try. Destin Sandlin, the creator of the YouTube channel Smarter Every Day, reconfigured his bicycle for one of his episodes so that when he turns the handlebars to the left, the bike goes to the right, and vice versa. In his video, Sandlin challenges many people to ride what he calls his backwards brain bicycle. How hard can it be? Well, extremely. Because people are experienced with a normal bike, they simply cannot adjust to this new situation. Impressively, after much practice, trial and error, Sandlin learns to ride the bizarre bike. But then he discovers he's no longer able to ride a normal bicycle. If you don't wish to mess up your bike, you can experience the same effect by inverting your keyboard. Now, try typing your name. You'll find your hands hovering over the keys awkwardly as you search for the letters in places they used to be, frustrated to realize they're not there. Unfortunately, it's not just motor skills. This trap exists in conceptual tasks as well. Experience can constrain us to prefer choices, processes, or actions, even when they become obsolete or irrelevant. As a result, we may be stuck with outdated methods simply because we're proficient in them. And with more experience, change becomes harder and harder. 